Hey, this is Dieter with The Verge, and we just downloaded iOS 8.4, which has Apple Music on it, and we figured we'd take a look at it right away for the first time all together. So, here's a new music icon. It's very pretty and multicolored. When you open it up, you get this splash screen and a three-month trial. So I am going to do the three-month trial, just start out as an individual. We're going to accept iTunes Terms of Service the way that you do by not reading it. And we're going to buy the plan, and we're in. So the first time you launch it, it drops right into your music, which is pretty great. Here's all of my artists from my library. A lot of 90s, a lot of early 2000s because I'm old and haven't paid attention to music in a while. Uh, the first tab is called For You, and it starts by giving you all these bubbles. This basically comes from beats, and you sort of start picking the stuff that you really like. So yeah, I like rock, sure, I like experimental, I like indie, no seriously I like indie. Uh, I'm also, I listen to some electronic, technically ambient, so when I work, so I'll tap on that, and hits, because otherwise I won't get Beyonce and Taylor Swift, and that would be a problem. And sure, I'll pick rock and roll. And then I'll tap next. Uh, and then once these have come in, they start giving me names of bands, and I need to pick my favorites, and hopefully they will show me some favorites. Yeah, I like Sonic Youth. We'll do more artists, and it's going to try and grab some more and I can start swiping around, and these bubbles start jumping around. It's kind of fun. I've picked a bunch of artists. They say they've got it, and all those bubbles float in. And now I have for you, this is a bunch of albums and songs that are curated for me, partially by uh, humans and also just by guessing what I might like based on the stuff that I've just picked. And so there's uh, some playlists. There's a bunch of stuff from the Kinks and so on, and I've got specific albums here as well. If I go to the New tab, you can see that there is just a bunch of new music. Uh, this is not uh, pulled directly from my algorithm. This is just stuff that's new, stuff that Apple might think I would like. Uh, we've got some video on here, so I can click on a video and just start watching it. You can also minimize it, and uh, it'll keep playing here in the background, which is pretty cool. So a bunch of new music, a bunch of new stuff. Uh, if you go to something, you can tap on one of these mini three-dot menus. You can add it to your music. You can set it to be offline. You can show it in the iTunes store if you actually want to buy it. You can add it to a playlist. You can also add it to your queue of music and even start a radio station based on it, kind of like Pandora. So a ton of options there hidden under those three-dot menus, and that kind of explains why they're sort of littering up the whole interface here, because there's a lot of stuff hidden underneath it. Uh, you can see stuff directly from the Apple Music editors, which is pretty great. So here's all their genres. These are curated by actual humans. Uh, and we can move on. So here's radio. And the big thing is Beats 1, but because we went ahead and installed this as soon as possible, uh, it's probably not live yet, but we'll take a look and see if it started. Looks like it hasn't quite started yet. But there's the old app iTunes radio, which is now called Apple Music Radio. And so you can see there are these old classic stations here. And you can choose a station, and it'll start playing. It shows you the song that's playing here. You can hit another one of those three-dot menus to do all those other options before. You can also fave something, play more like this, play less like this, add it to a wish list, and so on. The Connect tab is the sort of weird, weird Tumblr-esque like stuff that you get from artists. They can put little videos on here. Here's a selfie from Rufus Wainwright, just because here's some stuff from Sonic Youth. And then, of course, there's my music. This is the classic iTunes interface where you get all of your music, which is where we started. And if I tap on my little face here, you can see the information for the artists. You can re-choose artists that you like. And here's all the artists that I'm following right now. So that is a super quick look at Apple Music. We're, of course, going to have a lot more about this very soon.